Hey everybody. I'm like almost losing my voice. Yeah, I'm seriously like big time losing my voice, but I still want to film this video because I feel like this is just so, so, so important and is beauty standard, men and women beauty standard. Um, and I'm talking about beauty standard for women in the eyes of men and women, which is kind of weird, but yeah. Um, I find this topic so fascinating that I wrote notes for it. <laughs> and number one, men don't really care about details like lipstick shade or eyeshadow. They care about the vibe or the overall look or the overview. So a lot of times we see women talk about, oh, is that like Dior lipstick 999 or is it like blah, 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 other brand lipstick? Is it from Christian Louboutin? Honestly, men don't care. Men don't care if you're wearing 999 or if you're wearing Maybelline. Men can't tell. They just see this woman with red lipstick and that's it. And honestly, there really isn't that much of a drastic difference between the different shades in men's eyes. Whether you're wearing like a shimmery eyelid, or like shimmery pink or shimmery orange eyelid, honestly, men probably can't tell that much. Or even if they can, they don't care that much. That doesn't like change how they view you that much unless you have crazy talents and you can transform your whole face. And yes, men do care. Number two, in the fashion world, magazines and stuff, they're written by mostly women or gay men. They don't represent the stereotypical like straight man standard. So a lot of these magazines, they teach you how to style, they teach you how to wear clothes, but they only impress their own world. They only impress other women. They impress gay men, like homosexual men. They don't impress heterosexual men because the majority of the people in the beauty fashion world, they're not heterosexual men. So the tips they teach you in those magazines and also in those like mainstream social media about fashion and beauty, they only impress their own kind. They only impress women. They only impress homosexual men. They don't impress heterosexual men. So that is something that you have to keep in mind. Number three, a lot of times we hear women say, oh, I can't believe Tom compared me to Sophia. We're so different, but I can't believe Tom made that comparison. And women feel so offended because they feel like maybe they're an eight, but they're being compared to a six and they can't believe the men would do that. And the thing is, men don't really care if you're a six or an eight. A lot of men, they look at women as if they pass a certain rate, like if they pass a certain point of the scale, let's say a six, then they're all the same. Like men don't go like, oh my gosh, that's a 6.5, that's so different from a 6.8, or she's a seven, that's so different from a six. Like honestly, once you are like so-called passing, if you get a passing grade in your looks, the men don't care about like those like little minute detail. Only women care about that. Only women look at other women and go like, I think she's a 6.8 or I think she's a 7.2. I think she's so much prettier than that other woman and I don't think it's fair to compare Cherry and Sophia. But honestly, like no offense to anyone called Sophia by the way, but honestly men just don't care. Once you get past a certain like degree of beauty, men look at you all the same and then it's not about your beauty it's about just vibes you know the vibe you give them do they feel like they can talk to you they do they feel like you're interested do they feel like you're interesting but interested is actually whoa <laughs> interested is actually more important than interesting because men have to feel like they can get you and that's their main signal of they'll come after you. They have to feel like you will be their mate at some point or else they will just lose interest like a split second. That is the um, men and women beauty standard. What are your thoughts? Please let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and let me know which video I should do next in the info box. If you got to this far in the video, please comment a unicorn. All right, and I have a lot of perks and benefits in my info box. Be sure to check those out and I will see you guys next time. Bye.